We've all had that argument in the car when we can't agree what temperature to have the air conditioning. Well, how about each person having their own personal climate zone under their own control? Well, it's already happening thanks to Gentherm, the global developer and marketer of thermal management technologies for heating and cooling and temperature control applications. To find out more, let's meet our guest today, Phil Eiler, President and CEO of Gentherm. I'm Sarah Lockett. Welcome to the Business Debate. Phil, welcome to the London Stock Exchange Studios. Sarah, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Now, for people who don't know Gentherm, tell me a little bit about the company. Gentherm creates thermal solutions for personal uh, passengers and vehicles, and then also for medical applications. And we really focus on the human body in this, in this business, not necessarily on a, a climate system for a cabin or a room. So we're very focused on the human being. And some typical products that you would see in the automotive side would be heated and cooled seats. A very popular product that we have is heated steering wheels. In fact, some people say once you have that, you'll never buy a car without it. Uh, but we also have a medical business. And there what we're doing is we're managing patient temperature management, mainly during uh, operating procedures and uh, in intensive care. And in automotive, this is part of the sort of comfort and wellness trend, isn't it? And so what are you doing exactly to make people more comfortable? And how do you do it? It's sort of elements, electrical elements in the seats. What is it? It is a very interesting trend that's happening. The car is becoming less of a utility to get from A to B and really transforming more into a place where people can relax, uh, especially if you think about autonomous cars in the future. Uh, so comfort and wellness and personalization becomes something that's really important. And our products fit that uh, direction very, very well. So what we're doing is we're adding an element of heating or cooling uh, to the body. Then that, that, of course, has an effect in terms of comfort, but it also has a great effect when it comes to wellness. So if someone has a sore back, a little bit of heat on the back can make such a difference in a 45-minute commute. And you would think that this is very draining on the car battery, but actually it's less energy intensive than the normal HVAC, is that right? That's exactly right. A typical HVAC system uh, is designed to heat or cool the entire cabin of the vehicle. Our systems are designed to heat or cool where the passenger is sitting. Uh, and that can be one passenger in a car. And if you think about just heating and cooling one passenger and not the, whole, the entire rest of the car, that can be very efficient. Uh, so we typically are seeing a 30 to 50% power consumption reduction in our systems, especially for electric vehicles in the future. And you do have this medical division, which is kind of unique amongst your competitors. And how does the knowledge that you get there sort of translate into automotive? Well, we think that's a, a real differentiator for us. And our business in the medical side is uh, managing the temperature of the human body during operations. Uh, when a body is anesthetized, uh, the normal thermal regulation uh, doesn't work as typical. And uh, what we do is we maintain the body temperature, either warm it or cool it, depending on the situation. And the science behind that is called thermophysiology. And we take that thermophysiology back to the automotive uh, industry and uh, use that science to create much more efficient uh, delivery of heating and cooling in a car. So as an example, one of the areas of the body that's very sensitive to heat is the back of the neck. So we have a device that warms the back of the neck that sensation tells the rest of the body that you're comfortable. Okay. So it's very interesting. And those are things we learn from uh, our medical business. Interesting, really interesting. And what kind of a market do you see for this? Because uh, some, many cars already have your systems in mm -hmm. them, but not all? No, not at all. In fact, uh, what we call penetration rate growth is a big part of the company's growth going forward. Uh, on, in heated seats, uh, only about 30% or slightly less than 30% have heated seats of all vehicles manufactured. Uh, on the heated and cooled seat side, less than 10% have that product. So the consumers are continually demanding more of these, and that's going to help us grow. Is it an easy thing for uh, car manufacturers to incorporate? It is very easy. Uh, but the key is it has to be designed from the beginning. But the great thing is the consumers are demanding it, and it's uh, a feature that uh, the, the OEMs are really proud to offer to their 
customers. And your technology also helps car manufacturers to make cars greener and to actually get them carbon credits. Can that's, you tell me about that? Yeah, that's true. That's a very interesting part as well is when a, 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 a vehicle has our heated and cooled seat, typically, uh, so we did a study with InRel and found that uh, passengers use less air conditioning, thus driving the power consumption in a normal vehicle down. And this was, this was proven out. The studies were approved by the EPA and uh, were granted a, a much higher carbon credit for that technology. So this is something that one of our cu customers, as a matter of fact, was able to get $50 million of back credits. So this is something driving a lot more interest in our product. So how is this going to develop in the future? Well, Sarah, what we see in the future, uh, what we're developing for the future, is the concept of a personalized and individual climate zone around the the individual passengers of a car. And this is gonna use algorithms, and it's gonna use AI. Uh, all these we're developing now, and believe it or not, it's not that far in the future. Uh, so this is something we're very excited about. Imagine, if you will, getting into your own car, or even a car that's not yours, and plugging in your own personal profile. That system knows who you are, adjusts the climate the way you like it. Maybe you like a little warmer in the back. Maybe you like it a temperature that's 70 degrees. Uh, all these things would be adjusted just for you. That's the vision that we have. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for telling us all about it. It's my pleasure, Sarah. Thank you. Well, that's all we've got time for now. But join us next time when we'll be discussing more of tomorrow's business today. From me, Sarah Lockett, at the London Stock Exchange Studios, it's goodbye and thanks for watching. Thank you.